what's up guys matt tcg here i woke up 5 a.m so i can go do my work as i had to do some special thing over there but what i did after that is went over to magic stronghold i didn't even play digimon for almost like two and a half to three weeks and guess what i did i got first and this is my magnamon x deck profile for getting first let's get into it start things off my eggs are uh four wanyamon and one uh demi vmon i don't really care too much per se on who's the egg so that's why i opted to choose the five eggs so obviously the 1k boost but i chose wanyamon over the demi vmon because i think drawing cards is a little bit more valuable just to see magnamon x antibody as soon as possible so that's why i chose the wanyamon uh the 1k dp is nice maybe i'll switch it going forward with the other formats but for now i'm pretty comfortable with this Moving on to the level 3s of the deck. So, obviously, we're going to play the best ones, which is a playset of uh, BT12 Vmon and a playset of the Movie Promo Vmon. These two are your best because if he's an inheritable, he can, um, <clears throat> what do you call that? Uh, cheapen the cost of the Magnemons because they are pretty expensive to play. And he can search out free Digimon plus Davis in the deck. And I play the movie promo Damus, a little bit of spoilers, because that's one of the best Davises for the deck. Um, these are one of the best ones, so there's that. Next up, I play three jamming Vmon. Um, the reason why I opted out to do this is because he's one of the best. He can just pick off security early game, get you a little bit ahead, get you better momentum. Works well with the Wanyamon if you have a Davis, so you can get free draws as well. He's really good. And I play finally the one Vmon from starter deck nine. Uh, that's the reason why I only played the three because he's just an extra searcher. And if he's there, he's there. It's really nice. And of course, for my non Vmons in the deck, I play two Ukamon. Obviously, Ukamon is one of the best cards in the game right now. It works in almost every deck to net you resources and to get the extra hatching so you can draw more. I opted to play this just because, you know, gaining memory is always nice so you can get lots of it. Now moving on to the start of the deck, which is Magnamon. One of the best spot removals in the deck is four of the Terriermon starter deck, starter deck 17, um, Magnamon. Uh, in security, he can de-digivolve a guy on the field, so especially if there's a Jogris Pyeldramon, which is the reason why I won. It goes back, let's say, into an XVMon or Stingmon. It's not as strong, and it's also a blocker. It has armor purge, everything you want in an armor Digimon. Um... He's really good. Uh, you get the strip sources so they can't have their inheritables. And if they're like a lone Digimon in the field with no sources, you just bounce it straight to hand. That's why it's one of the best... Um, <coughs> excuse me. One of the, be the best uh, Magnemons in the deck. It's really good. Really good. Next up, I also play the... Um, the uh, BT8 Magnemon, the old one, where um, for every armor, especially good in late game, he gets really big, really strong. He becomes a good deterrent. And if a v jamming Vmon already attack, you can unsuspend it so you can ready a blocker for next turn. Still really good. And yes, I also do run the BT13 Magnamon. He's good as an attacker to get the early draws. And if he leaves the field, you get more draws. The reason why I only played three is because the Gator Leviamon is still a thing. And this guy could proc Leviamon. That's why I don't really want to uh, get this guy out much. Next up. For the Tamers. For uh, Movie Davis, this one's really good because obviously you can play a Vmon for free. It works well with the Searcher, so you have a body and a Tamer, which is obviously really good. Um, yeah, and just nets you memory if there's a free Digimon on the field. Yeah, it says like if you have a free Digimon. It still counts if you have Ukamon plus him, so that's nice. I play the also the Memory Setter Davis, so you can just search out your Magnemons. Free searches is always nice, and it's also a Mem Setter. For my other Tamers, I play two Louis. Um, he's good because um, some strategies I have, if you need an extra attack, you drop the Louis, it pushes up the Digimon and attack for game. I didn't do that, but in my previous matches with this deck, I did that, and it really helps, especially when you push um, rookies out. Um, this guy can, it's a free attack and you get free memory out of that. And finally, I play the one Shu Yu Lin. It works really well with the Magnemon X because you just give it a lines. And one of the strategies I have is having the BT8 uh, Magnemon 
and Magnemon X Antibody, and the BT8 Magnemon, let's say he gains a lot of attack, I think you can alliance that into the uh, Magnemon X so it gets really big. But like, if you are around like the 17k threshold, or even anything over that, nothing, no Digimon can stop you in security. Now, moving on to the um, level 6s of the deck, I kind of did this out of order. <clears throat> the start of the deck... Four Magnemon X, one Magnemon X antibody, the BT9 one. Um, this guy was kind of useful for like saving me from almost dying against Imperial. And this guy's the star of the show. You already know what he does. 3K, invincible, unsuspend. Really, really strong card. And once this guy's out, let's say turn two or three, it's really hard for the opponent to kind of get over it. I play this still because like just a one. Because um, if you have him and you Digivolve over this, let's say they somehow get rid of this, now they have to deal with him. And it's like, that's a lot of resource to putting into getting rid of him. Um, yeah, I, I did that a little bit out of order. I got, caught you off guard, but it's okay. Because, you know, this is the start of the deck. I had to kind of show him last. And uh, the one. So, he's really strong, really strong. Next, finally, for the options, I do play the Three Heavens Judgment. Honestly, I think this is an extremely broken card. Um, because, especially in this deck, because if you have both Ukomon and uh, Magnemon X Antibody, the Tricolor, so this one, and then let's say if you have the um, these two on the field, like the, this and this, that's 30k off the field already. Um, by himself, that's 24k. And I can clear a lot of boards that way. Like, yes, it's a 7 cost expensive. But if you're forcing your opponent to reset their turn. And they're putting their memory now to reset their board. You're already ahead in tempo. So that's why this card is super cracked. And I can understand why it can possibly get banned. That, this thing is a really good card. Especially in Magnemon and Armor decks. Because you can even have Sethmon on the field. Which is from the new set, BT16. Which is purple red. So you can add another color. So possibly... You can go for like 36k, which is a lot of damage on the field. That's a lot of DP depletion. Of course, this is one of the other best card in deck, Awakening of the Golden Knight. This card is really good to go into that. I play three trainings because um, there's a combo where um, if you have movie, promo, Vimon, and Davis on the field, uh, the Magnemon is for free because like, um, let's see. This one right here, it's like if you're going to Digivolve into a uh, Digimon with free in its trait, decrease the cost by one. This will decrease the cost by two. And with Vmon and Magnemon, it's cost of three. That's literally for free. That's a bar. I play two Blinding Rays because obviously it just nets memory. And if you shave the security with the Magnemon X, it just unsuspends and gets all its perks. Like you lose the security, but your the value just outweighs it. And finally, the best card in deck, one ice wall. I used it. It protected me. And yeah, it's just a good security bomb. That's all for the deck. Um, I hope um, you are all having a good day, night, anytime, anywhere. And I hope to see you again. Going forward into EX6 and Feral Ascension, my changes would be for this deck. I possibly would want to run the jamming, uh, the Beomon that gives jamming. That's also a blocker. That seems to be it. But I'm happy how this deck piloted and I'm happy that with my results. And yeah, hopefully I can make more Digimon content for you and have a nice day.